Forest Ivy's taken climbing plants in 3ds Max to the next level. Here's a quick roundup of a few handy updates since the release. 1. You can now import and export Ivy's growth path as a spline. This means you don't have to draw everything from scratch, just bring in a pre-made curve, tweak it with Max's powerful spline tools, or use CAD data to guide the Ivy exactly where you need it. 2. Ivy isn't just for walls anymore. To support the ability to import splines, Forest Ivy can now grow along a path without needing a surface. It's perfect for spirals, free-hanging vines, or artistic designs where the ivy follows a path through space. 3. Rendering just got better. Forest Ivy now works with V-Ray 7, including GPU rendering, and Chaos Vantage. That means better looking ivy whether you need high quality final renders or fast previews. 4. No more ivy growing through the floor. A new ground detection feature stops ivy in its tracks when it hits the ground, even if there's no actual object to block it. The height is set by the gizmo, keeping things simple. And five, working with displaced surfaces? No problem. A new offset setting keeps ivy from sinking into bumpy walls. Now your vines stay on top of the texture where they belong. These updates give you more control, better realism, and a smoother workflow. Try them out today and bring your climbing plants to life with Forest Ivy.